Well, it's no secret the month of May has been a warm one. Yeah, we were just complaining about it during the break. And it looks like it will continue to remain like that even as we head into the summer. Fox 44's meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick breaks down the last several days in May and what it could mean for us this summer. Just like MG said, it is absolutely no secret that the start of May has been a scorcher. We haven't seen too many record breaking temperatures, but what we have seen is 90 degree days one after another, which will definitely put a strain on your body. And some people like this heat, but for others, I've got some bad news. Unfortunately, this weather is looking like it is here to stay. The start of this May has been the hottest it's been in a long time, and we actually are at the top of the chart for the warmest start to May, recognized from the 1st through the 12th. So why has it been so hot? What's the reasoning for this heat? Well, as we all know, we're transitioning into our summertime pattern across the region, but a big reason why we're seeing very warm air right now is because we're under a pretty stagnant mid and upper level ridge that's parked right overhead and it's been there for the last week or so. I know most people who lived in central Texas for quite some time remember the summer of 2011. We saw 78 days that reached 100 degrees and 29 of those days saw temperatures reach 105 degrees. Just to make it even worse, there were 44 days in a row that hit 100 degree temperatures. So comparing the start of May now with the start of May back in 2011, we're actually seeing much warmer temperatures now than we did this exact same time back in 2011, which was one of the hottest summers of the year. We're averaging an 89 degree high temperature now, while this time in 2011 averaged only 84 degrees. If May is starting out this hot, how is it going to get as we head into this August? That's something we'll let you know, and we will strive to help keep you safe from the summertime heat. If you have any other weather questions, I would love to answer them. You can find me on social media or email it to me. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick, Fox 44 News.